Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today I am doing a video on how to draw the line when you have been off plan. So what's really exciting as well is not only am I doing this video on my own, I am doing a collaboration with Fopaholic, aka Nikki Ryan, who is like the slimming world Queen. She is absolutely incredible. I've been following her and her journey since I started Slim and World myself. She is a massive inspiration of mine and I absolutely adore her. She's amazing. Um, so I follow her on Instagram and she's also got a wicked YouTube channel as well. So I'm sure the majority of you guys have already subscribed or followed her. But if you haven't, you should definitely check her out and I'm sure you will fall in love with her just as much as I have. She has lost three stone in three months and she has been maintaining her weight now for 15, 16 years, which I think is just absolutely incredible. She is a Slim and World consultant and she has been a Slim and World cover girl not once, but twice. She is literally amazing. So definitely go and give her a follow and watch her video as well, which I will link below. Okay, so the meaning behind this video, I'm just gonna talk through like a few tips and advice I'll be giving on how to draw the line when you've had a day off plan, a week off plan, and how to kind of re-motivate yourself and get your head back into gear. Um, we're all human and I'm sure we all come to tricky parts where we feel a little bit demotivated and we fall off plan a little bit. So it's just talking about getting your head back in the game and how to get back on plan and back to that positive mindset. So let's go. For me, one thing I've learned is to not be too hard on yourself. This for me is a huge, huge tip because when I have lost weight before and I've put too much pressure on it, that for me is when it doesn't work. If you have had um, a bad day or a cheat meal that has turned into a bad week, or it's so important not to be too hard on yourself. We're, we're all human. Um, I think it's important as well to look back and see how far you have come. Don't forget how much work you have put into getting to where you have where you are today. And I once read this saying which has always stuck with me, and it's something along the lines of you should never look back unless you're looking back to see how far you have come. And it's, it's something like that. I'm not sure if that's quite right, but I'm sure you get the gist of it. Also, remind yourself what made you start in the first place. What made you first walk through those doors in your Slimming World group or even join online if you're an online member. Take yourself back to that moment that made you become a member of Slimming World, that made you want to join and make a better change for yourself. Get that feeling back this is the feeling that I have to remind myself of I have to constantly remind myself probably on a weekly basis why I started the journey in the first place and it's because I wanted to become fitter and healthier not only for me but for my daughter too and that's what I constantly remind myself when I feel like I'm slipping off plan Okay, something really important and so identifying the difference between a cheat meal, which is a treat, or completely binge eating for no reason and being greedy. This is something I am having to learn myself as well um, because I put my hands up. When I have a cheat meal, my head just completely zones out. I'm very all or nothing and I could have the smallest off-plan treat. For example, it could be, I don't know, even if it's just a meal. And once I've had it, my mindset just completely runs away. And I think, yes, it's a cheat day, let's be a pig. This is personally, this is what happens in my head. 
Um, and that is something that I'm having to learn to draw the line and identify the difference between a cheat meal and binge eating because that is what is going to make a difference um, to your weight loss or your weight gain. Quite often, I have to take myself back to basics. I probably say every two to three months, I get my Slimming World journal out, which is quite used and battered now. Um, but when I feel like I am lacking in motivation or running out of ideas, I get this little bad boy out, read through it page by page, fall in love back with the plan and get lots of new recipes and new meal ideas. And what I do is I sit down, I write myself a three day shopping list, I go shopping, get all these different ingredients in and I kind of fall back in love with food again and I get excited to try out different recipes. Um, and I think this for me, it prevents me from getting bored because when I'm bored of certain kinds of foods, if I eat the same thing week in, week out, I get bored and boredom leads to me overeating, binge eating. Also, I choose my sins wisely. This is so, so important. The Slim and World plan is amazing because we have such a huge variety of free food and speed food that we can eat as much as we like of. And then we have the small category of sins. So what I tend to do personally, this is just what works for me, is throughout the day, I fill up on free foods, speed foods, which is so, so important. And I have my healthy extra A choices and my healthy extra B choices. And I save my sins for the evening. So once I put my little girl to bed, I put my feet up, make myself a cup of tea, of course, with the healthy extra A choice milk, take my makeup off, sit down, watch the TV, chill out, and I enjoy my plate of sins, which I usually spend it on chocolate. This is what works for me because chocolate is my weakness. And if I went a day without chocolate, I would feel so restricted and I would be craving it by the next day. So this is just something that works for me. Um, it doesn't work for everyone, but um, it's really important to use your sins wisely, however that may be. So if you like yourself a glass of wine in the evening to kind of relax and unwind, save yourself for a glass of wine because then you will feel like you're not missing out on anything. When I feel like I am tempted to order a takeaway or binge, binge eat and be a complete pig and when I feel one of those days, you know when you get those days where you just want to eat everything under the sun, everything you can see within reach, I question myself, what do I want more? Do I want that bar of chocolate? And when I say bar of chocolate, I mean like family bar of chocolate. <laughs> um, do I want that family bar of galaxy, which would probably last me probably five minutes, not even exaggerating, I would probably inhale the lot within five minutes of family bar of galaxy and feel absolutely awful after because I, whenever I do go on a binge eating session or have a cheat meal or not only do I physically feel awful after, but I mentally feel just terrible as well and I feel guilty, it's a horrible feeling and I think, why did I do that to myself? I work so, so hard and I have worked so hard to get to where I want to be and it is so frustrating when I give in to food because at the end of the day, it is just food and that's when I question myself, what do I want more? Do I want that, that bar of chocolate that will taste good in my mouth for probably a minute or do I want to keep on feeling fit and healthy and happy? Um, you know, do I want that feeling for the rest of my life? And I, I for sure know myself which one I would prefer to choose. And when I question myself that, that's what really helps me to get back on track and prevent from um, inhaling the bar of Family Size Galaxy. <laughs>
What's really important is for me to not make excuses. So I'm such a foodie, I could make an excuse every day if I wanted to, to eat a bar of chocolate or a family size of Doritos, pizza, takeaway. You know, I could say, oh, I've had a bad day at work. I can't be bothered to cook, so I'm gonna order a takeaway. Oh, it's my time of the month, so I'm feeling really hormonal, so I'm gonna eat lots of chocolate. It could just be small things like that. It could be bigger things. It could be on a bigger scale. You might be going through a really stressful time in your life um, and you feel like you want to comfort eat because that's what makes you feel better there and then. I've done it myself. That is something that I don't do anymore because that's when I fall back into um, a really vicious circle. So if I'm stressed, when I used to be stressed, I used to eat and the only thing it would do is make me even more stressed. Something for me it is really important. You can make excuses all the time. It's so important to not let those things get in the way. It is so, so important. Life is stressful. But being unhappy makes it even more stressful. And since losing weight, I've been so, so happier and more of a positive person. And I want to keep that way and stay that way. Last but not least, remind yourself and tell yourself you are doing this for you. You deserve to feel great. You deserve to feel healthy. You deserve to get up each day and look in the mirror and just be content and happy. You deserve to feel good and healthy. All these things is what equals healthy eating. So for me, it's not just about the physical change, it's about the mental change as well, it for you. You provide your own happiness at the end of the day. You can make your own decisions and if you're currently unhappy with how you feel, if you feel lethargic, if you feel exhausted, if you look in, your, in the mirror and you're not happy, do something about it. You're in charge. You can completely change your life around. Since eating healthy, um, my life has completely changed for the better and I feel like I am so so such more of a happier and positive person now. I deserve to be happy, you deserve to be happy. So if you feel like this is going to make you happy, then do it, there is no stopping you. Anyway guys, so I that, think I've pretty much covered everything that I put on my list, as you can see here. Um, how neat is my handwriting by the way? It's not that neat really. I mean, look at that side, um, that's just awful. Anyway, I'm surprised I could actually read the tips <laughs> that I've made. Anyway, less rambling on. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, writing down these tips for me has helped me no end. Just writing things down and visually seeing and reminding myself um, you know, why I started this journey on the first place. So I really hope sharing some of my tips and advice can help some of you get back on track. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys soon. So have a wonderful day and let's do this together. Yeah.